Hey there, my name is Will Slafersky. Uh, I'm from Melbourne. I'm studying medicine in my third year at Monash University, uh, and this year I'm placed at the Alfred Hospital. So we're at Tultim Cafe, which is one of my favourite cafes uh, near the Alfred Hospital, where I'm placed this year. Um, yeah, it's a really good place to come. You've got a uh, half an hour um, spare on the wards, or you're uh, waiting for a shoot or something like that. Um, I ordered a shrimp latte today. As you can see it's very orange. Actually, uh, I've never got one of these before, so... It's very, very turmeric-y. Um, so I guess I chose Monash University uh, for a couple of reasons. Firstly, um, it's in my hometown of Melbourne. Um, uh, I wasn't opposed to moving away from home, but um, I do really love the city, uh, and uh, it sort of fits with my lifestyle of rockering, rocking eccentric coffees, uh, and just, yeah, generally uh, enjoying everything that Melbourne has to offer. The other reason I really like Monash um, is that it's the only undergraduate medical course in Victoria, um, which means that uh, you don't have to do another degree before you go into medicine. So um, straight out of high school, once you've sat the UMAT and you've, uh, you've done your VCE or your IBE, um, you can go straight into medicine. It's a five year degree, um, which is quite nice compared to six or seven years uh, as if you were to do, uh, say, a postgraduate course. Um, things I really like about Monash, um, I guess when you're in your pre-clinical years, so the first two years of university, uh, you're at, in Clayton, which is actually quite a way out from the city. Um, but it's, it's actually really nice because people don't just sort of uh, disappear after lectures or when they've got a break. Everyone's sort of like forced to hang out with each other. Um, and so you, you develop really, really good friends. Um, the med cohort is uh, quite, I guess, uh, insular and everyone gets to know each other really quickly. Um, so you do feel very like uh, you're in a place where you belong. Um, but I also have plenty of friends who go to Monash um, who don't do medicine and I get to see them on a regular basis as well, which is really cool. Um, in terms of like what you get exposed to, uh, the first two years of medicine um, really covers like a whole lot of theory across a range of dis disciplines. So it could be uh, everything from immunology to cardiology or uh, biochemistry and biophysics, which I hated, um, but it is actually really important and relevant. And now that I'm in my clinical years, I can see why we have to know about that stuff. Um, but you're essentially learning all the theory behind this stuff uh, in a lecture format, tutorial format. Um, a lot of the lecturers are doctors, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, so these people have first-hand experience of uh, what it's like to treat patients on a day-to-day -day basis and they can tell you stuff that you can't actually get out of a textbook um, on the, the nuances of particular conditions and how uh, people present to hospital and the challenges they face and that kind of thing. So having that first-hand experience from people who do this every single day and are experts in their field is, is really, really cool. Um, so I think if you're thinking about medicine um, and it's something you're considering, um, I'd highly recommend it. Um, obviously I'm biased uh, because it's always been my sort of dream career path um, and I'm really, really happy with what I'm studying. Um, but I think it's, it's sort of unrealistic uh, for people to expect year 12 students to know exactly what they want to do. Um, because the fact is, you just haven't been exposed to so many of the different jobs and vocations out there. Um, but if you think you might have an interest in medicine, um, I'd encourage you to go and be really proactive in terms of figuring out if it's the right thing for you. So talk to people who are studying the course if you know any. Um, try and talk to any doctors you might know. Uh, chat to your GP. Um, and if you can, do some work experience. Try and spend a day uh, in the hospital or shadowing a GP or a doctor or something and actually see what it involves on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, because I think until you've done that, uh, you know, you have an idea that you're making diagnoses and you're treating patients and you might end up like, you know, Dr. House or someone of Grey's Anatomy one day, but um, the realities of day-to-day -day medicine is, is, can be quite different to how it's portrayed in the media and that sort of thing. So um, yeah, definitely go and seek that out. And I'd encourage you, like anyone to do that about any potential career path they're interested in, not just medicine. Um, with regards to like what it's like being a medical student, um, I think medicine gets a rap for being a lot more difficult than it is um, and a lot more intense than it is. 
Um, and certainly I think in the later years, uh, that's probably true. Talk to me next year and I'll probably give you a very different answer. But I've actually found the first three years really, really enjoyable. Um, the only time I've ever been stressed is, you know, during exam or assignment season. Um, and that's usually because I've left something to the last minute. Um, not because the course is inherently overwhelming or anything like that. Um, I have this theory that the people who go into medicine are sort of type A stress heads. Um, and the reality is, is that whatever course they'd be studying, you'd ask them, oh, you know, how's medicine going? And they're like, oh, I'm so stressed. I have all these assignments and I have to wake up this time and this and this and this. But um, in actual fact, it's, uh, it's a really, really enjoyable degree. I've found I've been able to have a, a really good social life with all my friends, um, uh, have a part-time job on the sides, um, you know, play sport, make time for all the things I love. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's been good. So I, I wouldn't be dis discouraged if you think it's going to be too much work. Uh, this is the Alfred Hospital where I'm placed this year. Um, it is located in South Yarra, um, right next to Faulkner Park, which we have behind us. Um, really pretty. Um, there are some good coffee places around. Over there, you can probably see the Riding Tank Trauma Centre. It's uh, one of the biggest trauma centres um, in Australia. So the Alfred is my home site uh, for third year, which means I spend the majority um, of my time here, though I also rotate around to other hospitals. Um, I probably spend four or five days a week in the hospital. Uh, and usually around eight till uh, one, eight till three, depending on the day. Uh, so I, I got really lucky being placed at the Alfred for third year um, because not only does it have the biggest trauma center, um, but it's also really, really specialized. So you get to see uh, stuff here that you just uh, would never see uh, at other hospitals, you know, cardiothoracic surgery um, but with open heart transplants. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really fascinating place to be um, and you get exposure to uh, a huge amount of uh, really cool stuff that you don't necessarily get at other hospitals. Um, so I guess I studied medicine for a couple of reasons. I was always really interested in science and the human body, even from a very young age. Um, but throughout school, I was interested in a whole lot of stuff like you know, economics and um, politics and that kind of thing. So what really sort of changed my mind was, uh, I guess, the fact that you have that human element to it as well. Um, you're dealing with people every single day and interacting with them, hearing their stories and learning about their lives. Um, and you essentially, you have an opportunity to make a positive impact in someone else's life um, every single day at work, which is, which is really cool. The other thing about medicine is there's just so many opportunities and things you can do with it. Um, you know, from getting involved in research that can potentially change the way you treat um, a whole lot of conditions for, you know, millions and millions of people, um, to, uh, you know, working on uh, public health measures. Um, you can do private practice or public. Um, you can choose to specialise in a whole range of different areas. You might become a GP or you might become a surgeon or um, you might become a physician. Um, so just the, the opportunities are really limitless. Um, and I guess that's, I guess, kind of appealed to me when I was uh, in year 12 and thinking about these things because I, I didn't necessarily want to lock myself into one thing when I, I still didn't really know what my working life was going to look like or what I wanted it to look like. Um, so just the, the general feeling about medicine of, you know, being a, a degree where that was really fascinating and constantly changing and evolving, but also so much opportunity to have a positive impact in people's lives um, is what drew me to it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you're interested in studying medicine and want to find out more, you can click the link below or visit us at www.crimsoneducation.org.